our guy Caleb Giroux is all on top of recruiting, and he's got the guys in the transfer portal. We want to get to that right now and give us uh, give you our thoughts on what Tennessee ends up with in this uh, 2024 class. And just for the sake of argument, when, when we say recruiting and portal, we're kind of including that together on Off the Hook Sports. But this is particularly portal guys that we want to take a look at. I think the number one guy on the board, and it's a top uh, Caleb Drew's list, is Notre Dame tight end Holden Stays. Will he stays or will he go? Uh, he is the number one tight end in number 12 overall prospect by – a 247 sports. I think that he is perfect. That's a transfer portal tight end, by the way. I think he's perfect because he gives Tennessee some stability at a unit led by Ethan Davis that has an awful lot of athletic ability, but not proven playmakers. I think that would be a monstrous pickup. As a matter of fact, I would take stays a hundred times over uh the the Seton kid, uh, Jordan Seton. Uh, last week because he's a proven player at the college level. Uh, well, no, you're you talking. You're, you're thinking. You're thinking Jonathan Nichols, not Jordan Seaton. Jordan Seaton was the five star offensive lineman. No, I mean no. I, I mean Seaton as a five star guy. Oh, I would really? Take, I would take the proven college player in this particular instance for a year, given what Tennessee can do next year, and that I think they need a proven tight end. So if you put both of them on the table. I would take stays over Seton. I know that sounds crazy and feel free to rip me, but I think for 2024 stays is incredibly important. No, I'm actually with you. Uh, you know, they always say the NFL is a win now league. I think in the era of the transfer portal, college football is more win now than the NFL is quite honestly, Dave. Um, and so I'm with you on that stays is more the blocking tight end. So he actually would be the perfect replacement for Warren to compliment Ethan Davis, who, you know, is much more the receiver, almost like the Shannon Sharp that you line him up like, off you know off the line of scrimmage sometimes and so yeah i think i think holden stays is a big big deal um and for those who don't know this is why tennessee didn't get a visit from justin jolly i think they think that either holden stays or if we can scroll down dave and stay on tight ends for a minute um southeastern louisiana tight end bauer sharp i think is one of those is going to commit to tennessee okay so do you like sharp or stays better or do you have a preference or does Tennessee just need one that can hunker down? I actually think Sharp is more versatile because Sharp is 6'5", 245. So he's the size of a blocker, but he actually can go out and play receiver. He caught nine passes for 288 yards last year. So I think, and, and just last year with McCollin Castles, I trust guys that come from smaller levels more. And so I, just the two principles of that have me lean Bauer Sharp, funny enough. Okay, that's interesting. I would probably take stays, uh, but I think you got to get one of the two of them. MTSU defensive lineman Marley Cook. Doesn't it feel like this is just going to work itself out? This may be an NIL thing. I know that he is going to, uh, he's going to Miami and I believe Oregon uh, to take a look, but uh, man, he would he would definitely add to Tennessee's defensive line. And it seems like if the money is somewhat equal that you would want to stay closer to home. I mean, I say that, but I don't know if, if Marley cook gets a uh, $600,000 offer and I'm just throwing numbers out there randomly. Okay, guys, I'll tell you when I know the numbers, but I don't right now with cook, let's say he gets 600,000 from Miami and he gets 400,000 from Tennessee. Well, you might stay close to home because you're, because you want to be close to home or you grew up a ball or you want your, your family to go. But shoot, for $200,000, you can fly people to Miami pretty often to go see your home games down there. Yeah, this is going to depend on probably where he can get the most playing time because he's got one year of eligibility left. And I think he, because he's played so well, thinks he should play at a, I think Marley Cook thinks he should play at a higher level for one year to see, to see if he can turn the eyes of some NFL draft scouts. That's what you're going to see a lot of in college football now, by the way. Players are going to play very well at the smaller level, and they're going to try their final year of eligibility at a higher level to see if they can turn the eyes of NFL draft scouts. And I like double A, triple A. Is that what we're thinking? Yeah, that that exactly. And so Marley Cook has one year of eligibility left. I think he's going to try. I think that's why he's moving up. I the question becomes if if Tennessee, how deep they are at defensive line next year. We still don't know. What's your gut on Amari Thomas, Dave? Do you think he's gone? 
I my gut is not strong either way. I would say man, I would say 60% go if you want me to be real honest with you, not blow smoke. I think that it's 60% go, but I, that's pretty close. Okay, so then that could open things up for Marley Cook. But then again, you still got Omar Norman Lott and you got Walter Nolan, who Tennessee is going to try to get. And so, I mean, if you, you got to wonder if the level of depth is going to be necessary, is going to be where it needs, if it's if they're going to be too deep for Marley Cook to want to go to Tennessee, put it that way. Mm, okay, I see where you're going here. Now let's get to a Texas A&M prospect that I think would be huge for the Vols, if they could bring in and portions of the program brought to you by Don Self, Greater Chattanooga area. He is your State Farm agent. Customer service still matters. State Farm agent Don Self and his team take customer service very seriously. Call 423-396-2126 or just go to donself.net, which is right below. Donself.net. They pride themselves on making sure your phone, your family won't have anything to worry about at the time of a claim. So check it out, donself.net. Customer service still matters. Your friendly neighborhood State Farm agent for the greater Chattanooga area. Now we knew that some people would leave Texas A&M when there was a coaching change there. That's just natural. Offensive lineman Remington Strickland. That's a great James Bondish sort of name. How big of a pickup would that be for the Vols? Not as big as I thought it might be a, few, a week ago because I think Tennessee is going to be pretty set on their offensive line this year, and I think Strickland would be more of a tackle than a guard. So he would help for depth. I'm just going to say this. I wouldn't spend too much NIL money on him. Mm, I probably wouldn't either because I think that offensive linemen struggle to make the transition, and that's what we saw. I mean, I thought John Campbell was the eh. – Above average, I'm not knocking that pickup, uh, but Andre Keurig wasn't much of anything, and he only played because of the Cooper Bays injury. So I don't know how many offensive linemen teams let get away in the transfer portal unless there's just a personality issue. Rhode Island defensive back, Saeed Gibbs. This would be one that would make me think that Tennessee maybe knew the slaughter thing was coming. Yeah, I agree. And this isn't a... The weird part is usually players coming from smaller schools, Dave, like I said, have one year of eligibility left and are trying to try themselves at a higher level. Sai Gibbs has three years of eligibility left. He just balled out so well at the smaller school at the smaller level. So I think he wants to go ahead and try himself now. I always caution kids about that. I get it. If you've already graduated, do it. Go ahead and do it, right, Dave? But if you haven't graduated yet, you might want to get that degree first because just because you balled out at a smaller level does not mean you're going to ball out at the SEC level. And yeah, you could be uh, nudged into the portal a year later. Great. <laughs> Elias Post, uh, building an offensive line with transfers is a scary idea. Elias, you can't I completely, do it. Completely agree with you. Maybe one or two, but don't depend on them. If they show up, call it the Curry Girl. I don't want to sound mean. Well, this but is. If he shows up, if he shows up and he's not ready to play, you better have another plan. This was, for everybody that's questioning Dion, one of the smartest things he did. And we have to give him credit for this. Yes, Shador Sanders got wrecked a lot last year. Dion built his team through the transfer portal, but did you notice he didn't go for offensive linemen at all? He knew he was going to have to build his linemen on the recruiting trail more than the yep. transfer portal. And somebody mentioned how Lane Kiffin tends to um, build his team through the transfer portal. Yeah, he does, but that he's going to be really, really up and down. I think you're foundational players such as offensive linemen and defensive tackle that they need to be there for three or four years. And then you can, and quarterback is a foundational player, obviously, and you can supplement around that. UConn tight end Justin Jolly is on Jeru's list, but it certainly sounds like Tennessee is no That's longer over. interested That's in Jolly. Happening. Yeah. I don't, I don't think they're interested in, in Jolly anymore. Southeastern Louisiana tight end by sharp who you mentioned. And then uh, the, my favorite name, no question about it. Kentucky top, uh, Kentucky tight end Jordan Dingle. He's very good. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not even going there. I'm not Please going don't. there. Uh, uh, so he's 6'4", 238. Now, again, to be the physical complimentary tight end, I feel like your, your base needs to be 240, right, Dave? But he is a redshirt freshman. I think he probably put on 7 to 10 pounds. And, you know, if you could get him to 250, He'd be very 
complimentary. He was a freshman All SEC tight end in 2022. Don't forget that. So the guy does bring some promise. Um, I would say, but this year had a bit of a drop off. 11 catches for 198 yards. So I don't know what we're what you're going to get with him fully, but he is somewhat proven at the SEC level. And if you could add about 12 pounds on him, you've got a, you might have a really good. You know, you could get something out of him. Yep. Uh, click like and subscribe now. We got a big group on board. If you haven't subscribed yet, you absolutely have to do that. And then we have one more uh, remaining on the list. No, Dingle was a, <coughs> our last one. So give me your top two out of that group that you would take to the bank right now and you wouldn't be worried about what else helping, help, happened in the transfer portal because of the help you get from these two guys. Give me your top two. Jordan Dingle, since we just mentioned him, because <laughs> um, he's the most proven at this level, and he is, I don't think he's transferring because he can't play or anything like that. And probably Marley Cook. Jordan Dingle and Marley Cook. I'd like to be I'd – li I'd like to argue with you, but those were the two that I were going to pick as well. So in the interest of being genuine, I'm not, I'm not going to throw other names at you. Just, just One prediction, funsies. by the way. Yes. Because you see Oregon's hosting a lot of defensive linemen right now. We talk about building through the transfer portal. Dan Lanning has tried to be rebuild Oregon through the transfer portal up on the lines. He's in for a rude awakening in the Big Ten, isn't he? When he goes up against those Wisconsin linemen that have been playing together for three years. Oh, yeah, I, I believe so. I think it's um, – here's the other thing. I mean, there could be a big difference if you're at a smaller school and you don't have the support to get bigger and add weight. And there's a big difference in 5, 10 pounds of muscle, even at 300 pounds, than – not having that because you've been at a smaller school that doesn't have the same support, nutrition, and conditioning support. So that's a big deal.